<laughs> what are you doing? Looking at chairs. Oh. I read online that a lot of people were having their baby at 36 weeks. And I thought if that's the case, then we could have our baby in two weeks, so. Just hold up two weeks, please. We need a chair. <laughs> I'm trying to hold her in, but I don't know. <laughs> don't push. <laughs> I don't I don't know when she's going to be ready. You got to gotta make it to 36. I know. That's why I said two weeks. You got to make it 36. Hey, it does look nice outside. Go step outside. It feels really good. Uh, Doesn't feel like it's going to be 95 today. Uh, <laughs> I got a pillowcase that Matt made. I haven't shared that yet. Is that awesome? Let's see. We live here. We drink uh, coffee. We drink coffee. We like fire. Raccoons and flamingos are cute. We have trees. Campfire cooking. There's a squirrel over here and a mushroom in the woods. Lots of those and mushrooms. We don't do actual tent camping. Come on. We no, have are there teepees? I don't know. Stuck people, on the camp, people camp in yurts now. Yurts? Do you want to put the bed up? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, because I can't do that. We also have to do laundry. Driving through St. Marcus right now, uh, finished up a, a day uh, all through Buda. Uh, we went through like an old town Buda area. A ton of businesses, a lot of cool people out there. Um, so it was just kind of a fun day, but I was actually uh, having someone shadow me. Didn't want to film a lot of that, but I did warn him that I do vlogs and that he's gonna have to get used to me filming inside the car. So we're gonna go to San Antonio, uh, Texas tomorrow. Uh, we'll be driving all through God knows where. I don't even know exactly where, but yeah, just kind of go explore some new areas that I haven't been before, see what we can do, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to show as much as I can from that area. Uh, maybe explore a new, a few new places, you know, maybe stuff, stuff downtown too. Kind of wanted to try to stop by, uh, you know, a certain coffee shop if I can, show one of my friends over there, but we'll have to see about that. Hopefully get home in time to pick up the truck, which has my drum set in there, and then I'm actually heading to practice, so uh, I'll probably show a little bit of the practice too, and then get back home so I can work on uh, maybe a little bit on uh, some of the house design stuff, oh, this, the tiny home, the RV lifestyle side of things, but uh, I'll hopefully do all that tonight. We'll see where it goes. So one more thing about San Marcos. San Marcos has been this low-key town ever since I was a little kid. You would be able to just go to the river, just walk wherever you want to, and now look at it. It's just, it's just traffic. It's all the way back there. I don't even know if this has a turn signal. I may just have to go straight. Ah, never mind. Oh my goodness. And another thing, the reason why traffic got so bad over all this time is actually because of college students. So the college keeps growing, but doesn't actually have the infrastructure. So they kind of try to rebuild constantly. Uh, so they're always adding new things. Certain things cannot be rebuilt or they just can't fit into the area so they just kind of stay the same and they hope for the best. Literally, they, they are, I don't know. Like, look, they're everywhere. They're literally everywhere. There used to never be like people on this side of the river and now they just cover it. And look at all the traffic still. I feel like I should just do a time lapse right here. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? I was like, get your belly. <laughs> I got you. Let's get that. Get that leaf out of your mouth. I still have this sitting up front. 
Come on. Up. Get up. Brady, don't untie my shoe again. Yeah, 92 degrees today. All right, Mets, I'm going off to practice. Brady, where'd he go? Okay, so I have to admit I have done nothing today. Um, I woke up this morning and I was feeling pretty tired. So um, I figured, so I was talking to Matt about it. And I've been training consistently throughout this whole pregnancy, and I've been feeling pretty dang good. But the last week or two, I have been hitting a pregnancy wall. And I think that I'm actually starting to feel fatigue. Um, I've been so lucky because I haven't felt fatigue, uh, much, much fatigue, except for the first trimester. Um, but for the most part, I've been pretty normal, and I've been able to continue with training and normal daily tasks. But this last week or so, I think it's hit. And so, um, I will be, I, I decided that I'm going to try to work out every other day. And by workout, I mean, that can be strength training, that can be like some kind of cardio, or that can be just light walking, like just something every other day. So instead of training Monday through Friday, which I've, I've been pretty consistently doing, um, I'll probably be doing every other day, three to four days a week. So I worked out yesterday, decided to rest today, and I have laid around, I took a nap midday. Um, I've been hungry all day, like very hungry. So I've been eating pretty much when I'm not sleeping, um, just on my computer. So that's that's been my day and that's why I haven't vlogged just because there has been nothing going on. It's just been me super pregnant, sitting on the couch, laying on the couch, sitting on the uh, the ball over there, or sitting in bed. So that's been my day. Matt's been hard at work, and I I know that I, I shouldn't feel this way, but I, I kind of struggle with feeling lazy. And it's just hard for me to grasp that concept that there's so much going on in here because I'm so used to staying busy and doing something. Even when I'm home, I'm used to staying busy. And so knowing that he's like been working his butt off and then we've got all the house plans and now the plans to modify the RV and he's got several businesses that he's into and then I'm just kind of sitting here. Um, I feel a little bit guilty, but I know, I know, I know, <laughs> I'm gonna hear from some of you guys in the comments that I shouldn't, there's a lot going on and I, I know, but it's just hard to kind of shake that feeling on days like today whenever I feel like I'm just being lazy. Um, but I'm not. There's a baby growing and I think she's hitting a growth spurt because I think that's why I'm so tired and so hungry this week. Apparently she's like five pounds or something according to my app. Um, that's a pretty good size. So that's what I'm doing, uh, just kind of hanging out. He, uh, he's got practice tonight. So he'll be back in a couple hours and then we'll probably make dinner whenever he gets back. I'm sure I'm going to eat two or three times when he's gone. But that's my day today. It's not exciting. It's part of the journey. It's part of our life. And we are just working through it one day at a time. All right. We're in something different. Had a total of like 10 seconds to talk to Blair, which, you know, that, that lonely housewife thing, I guess. I don't know. I feel, I feel kind of bad. I'm, I mean, I feel pretty bad. <laughs> I've been working all day. I spend like, like I said, a couple, couple minutes really with Blair, but I think she's excited because I get to get rid of all these drums and things back here. It's just a bunch of just stuff. And so taking that over to practice right now, uh, we're gonna practice for a couple hours. I'll head back and I'm gonna try to work on a few things. I also have to write content for our you know, website and stuff like that. So I don't know if I have time for everything, probably not. So just wanna relax with Blair and just kinda hang out. So, but I uh, found a few other places to play in the San Marcos, Buda, Kyle area. Uh, so if y'all happen to be passing through, you can always check out the website, you know, caseythorntonband.com. Um, hopefully Blair's been linking that one, but uh, we're hoping to update it tonight. Well, so while I'm at practice, I'm hoping to update that, practice, head back home, get some more stuff done, write some content, uh, you know, watch some shows, eat some stuff, and uh, hang out with Blair for a while. So, uh, yeah. 
just thought I'd film a cow real quick, sorry. These are how my days are going right now. It's just a lot of training, a lot of work for Roe, going through some stuff for the band, and then trying to get stuff ready for little baby Eva coming along. And so she'll be here anytime. I mean, really, it's like two or three three weeks from now. Um, she could be here anytime. I want to get the house done, but and we're getting ready to actually get concrete to pour. So we'll be doing that in the next week or so, finally. I know. Uh, and then also building uh, the whole interior area for the RV. So we can have a baby inside the RV. You know, like even a newborn, that's what kind of concerned me. I don't mind actually having a toddler in an RV. It's just, uh, I don't know, the concept of newborn. Gonna make it as safe as possible, as easy as possible for Blair um, with the type of RV we have. The whole Murphy bed thing that I show y'all every morning is just nuts. It's uh, it's very difficult to work around. If y'all can, uh, if y'all can stay away from Murphy beds, I would say do it. We're young and spry and like to work out, but man, two years of Murphy bed, it's just crazy. So, I don't know. You live and you learn. Let's do that for like 12 minutes. That'll work. Could just do that for 12 minutes. How long did we play in Big Rally? Like an hour and 20 minutes? I think it's probably about an hour and a half. Oh, we move. I don't want to become a meme. <laughs> so then, easy, half. like, with talking and everything. We really yeah. didn't talk as much as we should. We don't have to, then. like, we can probably dip out, like, 10 minutes early. Uh, we do a lot of talking. And... More oh, than before. We do a lot of talking. Especially... I'm impressed at all the That'll hit the board, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll hit the bullseye. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. I can't wait to. I can't wait. Hi, buddy. I don't want you up here a lot anymore. Just this once, okay? Just this once. <laughs> you awake? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Where'd you come in outside? Ready to go potty? Go potty. Go pee on something. Oh, boys.